What's going on YouTube? Thank you for watching JG Tech Vlog. And for today's video, it's going to be a quick update about what's going on with the newest iOS that just came out. Uh, as you all know, 7.1 just came out today. And I'm just going to let you guys know that you should not update. As you can see here, this is a 4S AT&T running 7.1. And this is also a 5S running 7.1. Alright, there you go. I know it's kind of... <laughs> Uh, you know, it's on the other side, but there it is, 7.1. It says version of its... Uh... Anyways, so basically, you should not update to these. I will tell you why. If you are... This, by the way, this is only for the people that are running on the RSIM unlocks. If you have these, you can't unlock them with the RSIM. As of uh, today is March 11th. You can't. If there's another update, I will uh, upload another video to let you guys know when it's uh, when it's possible. Or actually, follow me on Twitter, uh, JG Tech Blog, and uh, you, I'll let you guys know when it's okay to update. As of now, don't because let me tell you why. So this is running 7.1. If you because you need this patch, you need the iRose patch, uh, download it so you can unlock your phone so it can use to be used with a different carrier. As for example, this one's AT&T. Let's say for example you want to use it with T-Mobile or any other company. You need the iRose patch, and look what happens when you try to download it. It says cannot install applications because the certificate for iRose is not valid. All right, same thing with this right here. See that? Cannot install applications because the certificate for iRose is not valid. You can't install iRose, and if you can't install iRose, you can't have the SIM card working with a different carrier on this one. So the patches is not good. Apple just came out with the new update 7.1, and they stopped anybody from update from uh, downloading the iRose uh, patch. Uh, let me tell you, if you already have iRose on your phone, for example, this one. This one was unlocked. This one was uh, see that it has iRose tool right there. This was on 7.06 and it was working beautiful. If you have 7.06, it works fine. 7.05, 7.04 and down, they work fine uh, with the RSIM 9 Pro. Now, this one right here had the iRose, okay? So you don't have to download it, but this is what happened. So let's say I put in, this is the RSIM 9 Pro, okay? This is what was inside the phone before we updated it. And it was working perfectly fine with T-Mobile. Now, when I put in the T-Mobile SIM card, look what happens. So this is the T-Mobile SIM card. Just give it a second. Say searching right here, and automatically takes you out to the activation screen and SIM not valid. Alright, there you guys have it. If you are unlocked with the RSIM 9 Pro or the RSIM Mini, anything like that, do not update to the 7.1 as of now. And if you, um, what's called, have a different phone that you want to unlock to inside on 7.06 or down, don't update as well because you won't be able to unlock it if you go up to the 7.1, okay? I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys are interested in buying the RSIM 9 Pro or any other RSIM uh, type of unlock, don't forget to go to my website, www.jgtechblog.com. I'll have the link in the description. Peace.